East African community has a long history. It has been beneficial. The community itself has been beneficial in a number of ways uh, to the East African community members. Um, the East African community collapsed, but then it was re-established in 1999. Since then, member states have done a lot. Uh, we started by creating a custom union. Our custom union is uh, integrated with the free trade area. And the free trade area uh, brings together a population of about uh, 280 million people with a combined GDP of about um, 300 uh, billion uh, US dollars. This is a big market and that has strengthened the economic ties of uh, member states in terms of utilizing the benefits which emerge out of uh, this uh, big market. But also we did not stop there. We have uh, established a common market and um, preparations for the monetary union are also in full swings. So you can see from um, these uh, stages which we have reached, since uh, the revival of East African cooperation have brought member states in a number of uh, areas and in that case uh, we have strengthened our economic ties. What do I mean? Through the common market and the monetary union now that we are going, it means that uh, there is a free movement of people. And hence, as you are aware that we have also introduced a common uh, passport which is unique. I think we are the only configuration with a passport which uh, is used within the region. One may say that uh, there is um, a passport uh, in African Union that is different because that is a laser per se, it's not a passport as a passport. All this uh, signifies the importance of uh, East African community but also shows that uh, we continue working together. Now recognizing that there was a point where we were pushing for industrialization and recognizing that that is very important. We introduced the EAC, industrialization policy, and we have uh, agreed on pillars and we are moving toward that direction as a region. And all this uh, shows that uh, indeed our ties continue to grow. We are doing a lot uh, to improve uh, the business environment. Um, my president, uh, you know, it's not uh, everybody's thing what she's doing. First, um, reviewed a number of policies or enacted uh, or formulated new ones. We have reviewed a number of uh, legislations or enacted new ones, but also massive, massive investments have gone into the infrastructure sector. Modernization of uh, the port, construction of the rail lines. Energy is very critical if you want uh, uh, people to undertake their business effectively. So we are constructing a big, big uh, hydropower dam. So all those are massive investment and uh, we are also, we have also tried to embrace the business community to be part of us. Because if you want uh, to facilitate investment, you cannot do it as a government. You must make sure that the private sector, you work with the private sector. So all those efforts are being undertaken. So Karibuni, Turkish uh, investors, this is uh, what we are doing in East Africa. And uh, let us uh, work uh, the journey together and enjoy these uh, benefits and opportunities which are available in Tanzania, but also in the, our region, the East African community. Swahili is uh, spoken by, I think, over 200 million people in Africa. And uh, it is among the 10 most widely spoken language in the world. And uh, the importance of Swahili is very unique. And uh, the significance of Swahili in Tanzania is linked to our history. To begin at national level, uh, our founding father, the first uh, president of uh, the United Republic of Tanzania, Mwalim Julius Kambarge Nyerere, he used Kiswahili to unite us. So it is a unifying language for Tanzania because uh, we have uh, more than 120 tribes in Tanzania, but uh, we don't identify ourselves by tribes. And that started uh, since then. When I meet you, Wherever you are, I'm not going to ask you from uh, which tribe are you, from which part of Tanzania do you come from, no, it's because of Swahili, that is one of the, the unifying factor. But again, uh, the historical significance which, uh, which I'm talking about, Swahili was also used as a language for liberation struggle. You remember Tanzania harbored a number of um, countries during that time, especially from the Southern African countries. And then Swahili was used for planning, Swahili was used for strategizing, Swahili was used for military training. And uh, believe me, until now, you go to these countries, you'll get people speaking Swahili. In terms of trade, you'll be surprised. The traders, especially the small and medium, they use Swahili 
Swahili has also been a, a language which has been bringing together traders but also facilitating transactions. We thank everyone because it's a joint effort. We are doing this with other countries as well. We have introduced the Kiswahili as a language for Southern Africa Development Community. We have introduced Kiswahili at the African Union. We have introduced Kiswahili as a language in the East African community. And a number of member states now are incorporating Kiswahili in their syllabus. It's a joint effort. We are trying to make it as an African language. And we thank those who have embraced Kiswahili. We remain ready to support everyone who, is re who wishes to get support in terms of uh, enhancing their capabilities or capacities in Kiswahili. But uh, it would be remiss of me if I don't uh, uh, applaud uh, the UNESCO for designating the 7th of July each year to be Kiswahili Day. Swahili now is, uh, it will be effective in terms of uh, communication and engaging, so we are gratified. Media are very important partners uh, to public uh, organizations, including governments. They are going to help us to communicate. When I started, I explained the opportunities which we have within East Africa. So in terms of economic uh, uh, opportunities, we believe that, uh, that uh, the, the media can also help us. But it's not, about, uh, it's not only about economic uh, benefits, but it is also about people to people. Uh, there will be engagement, cultural engagement, cultural promotion, people to people relations between uh, Turkey and uh, Tanzania. And uh, I think, you know, I'm not sure whether you know that uh, we have um, film shows in Tanzania which are aired, in Turkish, which are aired in Kiswahili. That is also very commend, commendable. People now understand uh, Turkey is not a new country. A Turkey, people know about uh, Turkey and they want to know more. So they can play a role in uh, uh, promotion of uh, trade and uh, investment opportunity, economic opportunities, culture and the people-to-people -people relations. You have seen currently, but even before, that we are promoting investment. High Excellency Dr. Sumia Su Hassan has been busy promoting investment. So Tanzania values foreign investors uh, including those from uh, Turkey. Indeed, they contribute, investments uh, contribute uh, greatly to our social economic uh, development efforts and uh, infrastructure is among our key priorities. There are a number of uh, investors in, in Tanzania from Turkey, but let me single out one which is uh, actually involved in the modernization of uh, Tanzania infrastructure through a company called uh, Yapi Melkezi which has been awarded a number of uh, tenders in the construction of uh, the standard uh, gauge railway network. This is a very uh, strategic uh, project for us because it connects not only Tanzania, but yes, we are going to connect Tanzania uh, through the uh, central corridor. But more than that, we envis envisage to connect other countries as well, Burundi, DRC, and we'll be going beyond uh, that. And that is the impact now. This is an enabler for cross-border trade, but it's also an enabler to a number of other activities. And we link that uh, to our port as well. Previously, I have said uh, that um, we are gateway to a number of countries. Now, a standard gauge will enable movement of goods from our port to these uh, to parts of Tanzania and to other parts of uh, landlocked countries. And in doing so, you are reducing the cost of doing business. You are also enabling investment in other sectors as well. But uh, the, 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 the construction itself has also created uh, a number of uh, jobs for our people. And uh, also we are benefiting from uh, transfer of technology. The benefits are multiple because there are a number of multiplier effects. <laughs> Let me begin by saying that uh, I don't think there are trade barriers between Turkey and um, Tanzania. We don't have uh, uh, trade barriers at all. And um, we have um, witnessed, indeed, as you have uh, said, a remarkable increase of uh, trade and investment over the past 10 years between uh, our two countries. And uh, this has also been uh, accompanied 
by improved uh, bilateral relations uh, between our two countries. And I would uh, say that uh, the real game changer uh, for Tanzania Turkish uh, trade and relations happened in uh, 20, 2009 when uh, Turkey reopened its embassy in Dar es Salaam. The volume of trade between Tanzania and Turkey has um, jumped fourfold. This is not uh, something which you should underplay. By then it was about uh, 63 US dollars a um, million. That is in 2009, and it has increased uh, to 2050 US, a million US dollars by 2020. And uh, that's why I'm saying that I don't, I'm not seeing any trade barriers, but I'm seeing increased uh, relations and the partnership between the government, but also between private sector. And Turkey is among the 10 biggest uh, source of Tanzanian imports. The balance of trade between the two, even though it has improved, but we are still the main importer. And we would wish also to see that uh, we export more to Turkey. But again, the, the launch of um, the Turkish um, airline between Istanbul and Tanzania, uh, via Kilimanjaro and Zanzibar, as you know, has also helped significantly in terms of boosting trade, business, but also by retro relations. We have also made sure that uh, we improve the engagement between government and government. We have revived our, uh, we have revived our, um, our joint uh, permanent commission where people will see it, both parties, Turkey and uh, Tanzania from governments. Uh, uh, discuss about a number of issues, address challenges. Indeed, if there are barriers to trade, they will be discussed there. So the relations are very good. The impacts are very vivid. But again, once again, that uh, let it be balanced. Uh, we are importing more um, compared to what we are exporting. So we wish to see that we all, our exports as well to Turkey are increasing.